Hello everyone, welcome back to another battle. Today we are using this uh, kind of sun team again. Uh, difference being that I swapped out Lander's T for Hitmontop, kind of gaining rapid spin, keeping Intimidate and losing an ice weakness, which is always a great thing. And then swapped out uh, Zatu for Espeon, because Espeon kind of does the job better. Also no ice weakness and, uh, you know, magic bounce is still active. So that's what we're going to do. we still got Pinky and the Brain in the building, because this team would be nothing without those two and we're going to kick it off right here right now. So I see as Tenacruel and generally it seems apt to lead off with Espeon because I can just bounce back any hazards he wishes to set up. He also has Gliscor which could potentially carry the Stealth Rock and lots of... I mean his team is really defensive in general. He has five things which are really like slow and defensive and a Zorark which kind of works out a little bit because you know Zorark masquerading as something slow and defensive uh, usually you know you won't be threatened by something like that and this happens right now because I set up the light screen on the first turn after taking a scold and then Psy Shock, um, you know, not really fe fearing any physical attackers on his team. I didn't think I needed to set up Reflect, so I just go straight out for the Psy Shock, hoping to hit the Tenacruel. Uh, end up hitting Psy Shock on the Magneton, which doesn't turn out to be the Magneton because Psy Shock does no damage. Uh, obviously, showing me that it is his Zorak in disguise. My best play is to go into Hit on top, who resists the Dark move and can take it pretty damn nicely. Even though I am uh, physically defensive, it's not a super powerful special attack and it is resisted so I take it damn well uh, I might say so now I'm gonna switch out I don't want to stay in there because I know he's probably going to go into a slow bro. And I feel like I might as well get my weather up at this point. Go into Nine Tails instead of the Sun. Uh, reduces the power of his surfs or scalds or whatever he has going on. And I thought, okay, well, as long as I can put this thing to sleep, that would make it a lot easier to deal with. Um, I shouldn't have a huge problem dealing with slow bro, mainly because I have Venusaur and Shift Tree, both of whom have stab grass moves that can deal with it pretty nicely, uh, dependent on uh, you know how many boosts they get up and all that good stuff. But I don't want to go into any of those guys directly simply because Shiftry has the possibility of being burned by the Scald and then Venusaur could potentially take a hit from Psychic so I decide instead to go to my Doug Trio who can not only trap the Slowbro in here but also perform a few functionalities. First of all get up Stealth Rock which is going to be critical to sweeping later on with either Pinky or the Brain. Uh, secondly get off a solid hit with Earthquake because at this point I can actually live three Scalds or I can take two hits from Scald not only because of the Sun also because the Light Screen is still set up and get off an Earthquake in the process. I know Earthquake doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it then sets me up nicely to go for my final move, Memento, which basically murders myself in exchange for me harshly lowering his special attack and his physical attack. So basically he's at minus two special attack right now opens up a window for me to go into either Venusaur or Shift Tree and set up either a Sword Stance or a Growth. Uh, I feel like going to Venusaur is the best thing to do because there's a poss possibility of me getting burned from a Scald if I went into Shift Tree, if you wanted to try that tact. Um, so I go into this thing, I know that I can't die from a Flamethrower because minus two special attack and uh, I should be good to go with the Growth. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not quite the case, as you can see, because he, in fact, lands a critical hit with his flamethrower, allowing him to eliminate Venusaur from the field of play. So, that's awful. Um, it really causes me a huge amount of problems, this match, this slow bro. And you're going to see that soon, because I was basically banking on the fact that Venusaur would get out of the growth and then Giga Drain and kill the slow bro, and I would be pretty much set to go from there, and I'd maybe be stopped by a couple of things. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's my game plan. Now it's all fallen to pieces, because I've been critted at the worst possible timing ever. So I go into Ninetales, trying to put the thing to sleep, uh, not working... It's missing, it's not doing the job for me currently, you know, being in the sun, Hypnosis only obviously has a track record in the rain for me and uh, my videos, but being in the sun is definitely not the optimal place for it. I do get it off on the Magneton as he switches that in, I believe that is the Magneton and not his Zorak, though I can't quite remember, but um, I'm going to speed up this portion because it is a load of bullshit, let me tell you that for free. Uh, essentially, I just want to wear him down as much as possible, and now the problem with this Ninetales set, uh, originally when I made it was it was dual status sub and flamethrower and obviously the only thing I can really do to this slow bro beside doing not very effective sun boosted flamethrowers is to go for will o -Wisp. so I burn him initially and then try and just flamethrower wear him down as much as I can uh, to a point at which you know I'll eventually be able to uh, switch in something else and kill him um, like my, my shift tree or something like that but 
Uh, at this current point, you can see how his slowbro never actually recovered. It never went for slack off at any point there, which you would find rather interesting because slowbro usually carries some kind of move like that. But the thing with this slowbro is it has three attacks and it doesn't seem to have slack off alongside those. So it seems like he's just basically relying on regenerator to get all his health back. And um, well, interesting, I guess. It makes my job easier for killing slowbro, but it means that if he wants to keep the thing alive and cause it nuisance to my team, he's going to have to constantly switch it back in and out. So we get into the situation where I go to my Espeon on his Tenacruel, unfortunately get burned by the Scald, but uh, it means that I can actually get up screens again. I'm going to go for the light screen, obviously, because as I said previously, Reflect isn't really going to be helping my cause that greatly. The only thing he has is like Gliscor, which can't really hurt me terribly apart from Earthquake, and Earthquake, you know, from a Gliscor is only going to be useful on certain things. My team isn't terribly weak to it in that respect so I'm actually going to go for the hidden power fire which is boosted in the sun and not only would it have taken out a magneton I believe but it just cleans out the Zorak uh, just stock just cleans it out um, now he goes into his Gliscor which I guess I could have gone for the HP fire and got off some solid damage on it with but I decided maybe at that point reflect might have been nice just because now I can switch something in on the Gliscor and not be so afraid of it earthquaking and doing a significant amount of damage to me such as the case with my nine tails which is you know actually weak to the earthquake so works out pretty nicely because i can get off a flame boosted a flame boosted sun boosted flamethrower which um disappointing amount but this nine tails is more defensively invested so its special attacking prowess isn't going to be up in the stratosphere i believe he gets up stealth rock there which is slightly annoying but uh, nothing that i can't really deal with i believe i still have hit him on top around who can potentially spin them away at some point so that is always uh, an option so i'm gonna go into my shift tree here and i decide that i am in a pretty optimal position to go for a swords dance and follow that up with uh, a nature power because nature power of course on wi-fi turns itself into earthquake which is basically going to kill the tentacle straight up uh, ice beam does nothing because i obviously have light screen from earlier with espion and i'm thinking all right this should be pretty good here if i go for uh, nature power earthquake clean out of the tentacle i didn't want to swords dance up twice um one thing there's the risk of the crit secondly there's the risk of the freeze thirdly i am life orb so i'm going to die eventually so i want to have as much of my own hp available as possible so so uh, now goes into the Among Us, which I guess I slightly forgot about. A um, bit of a premature setup there with my Shiftry because I don't think I can take him out with any of my moves. Um, Seed Bomb is obviously resisted. That's my main form of stab. Um, he is probably going to go for the Spore so I can't Sucker Punch, uh, which is my other form of stab. And, you know, it's not resisted, but when he's sporing, Sucker Punch is going to be useless. And of course, Nature Power, which even though it's neutral, is unstabbed and plus two, and this thing could be physically defensive, you never really know. So I decided I'm going to go to my Sleep Fodder, which is going to end up being hit on top, unfortunately. Uh, means that I'm still going to be taking Stealth Rock damage and stuff with Nine Tails, which eh, could have worked out better, but unfortunately not really going to... Uh, really pan out that way I guess as uh, Nine Tails is coming in and essentially trying to deal with all these Pokemon at once being thrown at me because the problem is really Shiftry can kill all of his team aside from Gliscor. Uh, Gliscor is the one thing I need to get rid of and I'm not really super afraid of this Slowbro because it doesn't have a recovery move. The only way it can recover if it switches out with Regenerator and that is basically how we have to play. I have to basically just keep flamethrowering and subbing and doing all this stupid shit until eventually something dies and eventually he ends up switching in his Gliscor wanting to s survive his slow bro survive his slow bro preserve his slow bro is the word to say um as opposed to his Gliscor. But it still doesn't really end up working out for him because it's Ninetales. I don't know how. This Ninetales is just somehow, at the end of the game, powered its way through, uh, is able to deal with the Gliscor, the Slowbro, with with fire move. I've essentially killed this entire Slowbro with a flamethrower the, through the whole game. And uh, finally has Among Us, which only has Giga Drain, Stun Spore, and all that stupid stuff. Can't touch my Ninetales, and Ninetales actually ends up finishing things off, which I guess is a bit of a deflated way to end the game i had to speed through that section because it was really painful it was just stally and horrible and the slow bro was definitely uh something that would have been appreciated if i just killed it with venusaur straight away but crits happen as you guys well know and that's what's going to happen in this game today a uh, bit of a uh, deflated ending but uh 
you know, the match was still decent enough, and, you know, I thought I'd post it, so there you go, that's what you get. If you want to see a uh, Jirachi domination, you can check out the video uh, on the screen right now, my previous video. Um, if you enjoyed this one, leave a like, that is always helpful, and uh, very much appreciated as well, and I think that that is going to wrap things up for that uh, today. I'll see you guys next time uh, in another video, in another time, in another place, uh, but until then, um, goodbye.